John Derbyshire used to work for National Review, a theoretically respected conservative magazine. Now, he wrote uh, something back in 2012 that seemed obviously racist. We talked about it on the show. Uh, he claimed at the time, oh, he's politically correct police and all that stuff, uh, although it was clear and over the top. Well, uh, he's written, an, and then he got fired for it. I mean, it was so over the top that even a conservative magazine said, oh, God, man, that looks outrageous, so you got to go. So it's okay, he's now writing for VDARE. Uh, that's a white nationalist site. Um, <laughs> but it's okay, because what's the first thing that he writes about in this latest column? He says, conservatives are the only people in the USA trying to transcend contentious racial issues. Well, that's great! They, okay, look at that. See, he's trying to transcend those racial issues. He's not trying to add to that. So let's figure out what he means by that by reading a little further into his article. Whites may as well start asserting themselves and joining in fighting for the spoils. If that's right, colorblind conservatism is a dead end, and the future of the conservative movement is as a home for white ethnocentrism. So what does that mean? He's saying, we were being suckers before. We were so nice to the minorities, and we were trying to be colorblind. That turns out to be a bad idea. Let's go get those spoils. And concentrate for the Republican Party on white ethnocentrism. So he literally says, blacks, eh, eh, and he's about to talk about women too. Nah, we never liked them in the first place. I can't believe they accused me of being racist. <laughs> okay, I know. By the way, white males in this country, they've never had the spoils. Never. Like maybe having other people's free labor for several centuries. <laughs> Those kind of spoils, they never had that, never. Like maybe every single president has been a male and everyone but one has been completely white. <laughs> okay, another one's half white. But no, the whites have never had any spoils in this country at all. Poor whites. He goes on to say, women are just like that. Oh great, you're gonna bring women into this. Uh, one thing we might try would be putting some alpha males up front instead of mealy mouth cringing betas. Because John Derbyshire is tough. Doesn't look those pansy women are black people, okay? He says, white ethnocentrism for the win. This is the guy that was quoted for decades as a respected conservative columnist, John Derbyshire says, I do declare. And then he would use coded language over and over. And anytime you said, that's the most obvious coded language, uh, he would say, oh, how dare you? I am shocked. Now that he's been fired and he has no reason to continue with the pretenses and he's writing for a white nationalist site, now all of a sudden he's like, yeah, 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 I never liked the whites and the women anyway. Let's just go, I mean the blacks and the women anyway, let's just go for the white boat and uh, try to hold on for dear life. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for being honest for the first time in your life and uh, thank you for that strategy because that means your party will be dead very, very soon.